Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be all the way back. Um, I've been gone for a while again. I'm going to try to start doing more shows. Um, I, I uploaded a lot of content from the fight I was at, the uh, Hall of Fame show on Showbox. Uh, please check that out. Please also like, share, and subscribe to 3D, uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, as well as our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna have a fun show today, guys. Quick hits is back, eight, ten minutes a day. Um we're gonna have fun today. Um Edgar Berlanger, bite Langer. Um so he's gonna get suspended. Um he got ten thousand dollar fine from the New York State Athletic Commission, and he's gonna get fined for nibble for nibbling. Um so th- th- there's a couple of things. I- obviously, the suspension, the fine, it's all valid. All right, no issue with any of that. He bit the dude. It's a problem. Can't bite people. Um, his performance was subpar. Um, didn't look real good. Um, we can get into that another time. But I, I want to talk. <laughs> First off, the referee, Ricky Gonzalez. N- not the most experienced ref. Pretty big fight. I know there was another card in New York this weekend. Um, the Hall of Fame card. Um, Boy, this was not a great performance uh, by the referee. The referee was made aware by Angulo and his corner that he bit. Um, it was obvious when it happened. Um, he's in there. He can see he did nothing about it. That's a problem. Um, he should have been deducted at least a point. Really, too, because it's obviously intentional foul. What are you going to say? He he, it was an accident. He accidentally bit him. No, it's an intentional foul. That's two points, right? Um, or he should have just been disqualified. You can't bite, bro. Like I, I understand if you don't want to bite him, but what are you going to say? Stop biting. If you bite him again, then I'm going to disqualify you. I mean, like either a two point deduction or a disqualification. Um, you you could look at the replay. I mean, there was no reason to let this go. Uh, you know, um, you know, Berlanga is gonna is saying that Angulo was throwing elbows and he was dirty. Okay, fine. Elbow him back, hit him low back, right? Like rough him up back. You can't bite the dude. Um, now he's gonna, you know, look. I'm not trying to beat up on a referee, but that's a poor job. You can't not do anything, not even deduct a point. Although I will say his his performance wasn't nearly as bad as the judges. Ken Ezzo and Don Trello, Don Trello is an awful judge, had it 99-91. Bernard Bruni, a little bit better at 98-92. But wasn't that like a 6-4 kind of fight? Like, that was a close fight. I, I didn't understand the, the, the judges' scorecard. I thought that fight was pretty close on the cards. Um, You know, Berlanger's not it. You know, uh, Berlanger had a great run. Yo, um, what was it? 16 first round? Was it 16? 16 first round knock? Yeah, 16 first round knockouts in a row. Now four unanimous decisions, victories, um, and and, and nibbling, um, chompy. This is not a good look. I mean, his career is obviously going downhill. He's not panning out the way that he was hyped up to be. Look, top rank can still hype up a fighter. They can still. You know, make a star where one doesn't exist. Um, you know, we wanted to see what Belanger was. You know, we wanted to see exactly what he was, and we're seeing it. He's not a star. He's not. A, he's not a sensation. He's a good prospect. He'll be a top ten to fifteen ish super middleweight. I, I don't think he gets any better than that. Um, if this guy gets a belt, they're gonna have to get creative, get him a vacant belt. Against a, a you know a dead Peter, I mean he's just he's not it. Um, this performance wasn't it. 
all, all in all, I mean, the, the, and then the, the biting, you know, bite Langa. This was not the performance that we wanted on the Puerto Rican Day Parade. He's supposed to be the star, right? He's supposed to carry that Puerto Rican torch. Torch. If you think this guy is the next Miguel Cotto, we're going to have a Cotto-like career, boy, you got another thing coming. You know, I, it, it was fun watching him get those first-round knockouts. Um, but that's done with. I mean, the power is obviously good. He had 16 first round knockouts in a row, so you can't take it away from him. He did that, but it's like, why can't he even hurt people anymore? Right? I, I mean, I, I had him losing to Angulo. I, I don't, I don't know where he goes from this. He split with, um, Andre Rozier. I don't think that was the right move. Um, I hope he's been wise with his money. You know, I, I shouldn't say that, right? He's going to get more paydays, right? I mean, they're going to build him up. They're going to get him more wins, and they're going to get him a title shot. He's not going to win that title shot unless they can, you know, Canelo vacates all the belts. They can get him to a number one spot, and they can put him in the ring with a guy that doesn't belong there. You know, but they're really going to have to sell this guy. I mean, and, and they have, and he's got a natural market, and, and he had the hype. You know, the 16 first-round knockouts, Belanga ain't it. <laughs> Belanga ain't it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, and as far as the suspense, like $10,000, Mike Tyson got $3 million. Now, look, they, they didn't report what Belanga's purse was. Okay, so I'm not going to go off unofficial numbers. $10,000 should have been disqualified. Mike Tyson got $3 million. Now, that's only 10% of Mike Tyson's purse. Okay, that's true. It's still $3 million. Uh, but I, I really think Belanger should have a healthy part of it. He, he, he bit a guy. This could have led to retaliation. It could have turned into a street fight right in the ring, right? Um, I mean, this really could have been a mess. Luckily, it wasn't. Um, Angulo kept a cooler head. Didn't do anything stupid back. So that's good. Um, but this could have been a mess, right? And, and I, I understand that Mike Tyson bite was, was Nevada, it's Las Vegas, Nevada State Athletic Commission, different commission entirely. Um, but the New York State Athletic Commission has a reputation of, of being strict and handing down, you know, strict punishments. This seems soft. And I, again, the, the, the officiating job to let this go, right, to do nothing about it while it happened, when you saw it happen, and you know, he, Angulo came up to the you know, referee Ricky Gonzalez and complained about it. And the referee's like, nah, I honestly bit you. No big deal. So, I don't know. Like, what, did it bite him back? Like, what did he, how do you, Mike Tyson did it again. How do you know he wasn't going to bite him again? It's really weird, really strange. Uh, I don't think the, 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 the performance from the fighter wasn't good. The performance, the fight itself wasn't good. The ref didn't do a good job. And the judges did a terrible job. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think should happen to Berlanga. Uh, it is June 15th, 2022, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.